Hi, and welcome to Simple Analytics. In this short training video, we'll go over count, average, and then how to transform data with Time Slice and Transpose. I'm Stacy, and I work in the Learn Department here at Sumo. Let's kick off a brand new log search. And let's go ahead and search for the right metadata. This time we want source category, Labs Apache Access, and then I'm going to work with count. And what count is going to do is return the number of messages that have the keyword that I specify. So I'm going to say count by source IP. And you can say count by or just count source IP. Fortunately, source IP is a field that I've already defined using field extraction rules. If you want to learn more about field extraction rules, check out the documentation. All right. Here we go. Count has given me the source IPs, and then in this field, underscore count, I get the number of times that this source IP has that message return. Pretty cool. But what if I'm more interested in the average size? So I can just type in average, and I'll say I want the average size by source IP. Now I didn't alias average, so it's going to return again with this underscore average. And the cool thing is that average, min, max, they all share the same structure. So we can just type in min or max and we can get those as well. Well, given that I've got Apache access data, let's go ahead and do account as hits by status code. And now we'll pull up all of the hits for each particular status code. Well, let's go ahead and expand our time range beyond the last 15 minutes. We'll pick last 60 minutes and kick it off. And these are really large numbers. What if I want to do kind of trend over time? Well, then I just go up here and I use time slice. And what time slice is going to let me do is pick the buckets for the duration of the data that I'm looking at. Kind of what buckets do I want? Well, I want to see the, the trends over time. So maybe five minutes, about 12 time periods. And I need to pop in underscore time slice, comma status code. Now by putting the time first, I am getting the status codes and the hits, but I'm getting them in five minute buckets. Well, what if I don't like the way my table's rendering? What if I want to see it in something that makes a little bit more sense to me? Transpose allows me to define the rows and the columns. I'm going to say transpose, and I'm going to say row is time slice, and column is status code. Hey, now this is something that looks more like what I want to use. At this time, where were my greatest error status codes? And then at another time, where are these messages coming from? And this sort of data you can see with other tools, but what I like about Sumo is you can go ahead and just click. Now you get a graph, and I have some null results in there that I definitely want to get rid of. And maybe I already know about my 200 status codes, so I'll just get rid of those. And then, wow, look, I can see that there were a number of 404s at 11 a.m. Pretty cool, huh? All right, if you want to learn more about how to use Transpose or how to use Time Slice, the homepage has a link to learn. And this includes quick start videos to get you going, just like the one you're watching, the Sumo Logic using tutorials, and then for more administrative functions, the Sumo Logic setup tutorials. You can also access our search operator's cheat sheet and get code samples to steal. You can go straight to our help docs and any other feedback that you want to give us. Don't hesitate to reach out and to request more videos or let us know what you felt in this one could be improved. Thanks!